Hello, my name is Dell Jones, and I'm Second here with floor. Robert Second Williams, and this is going to be the book cover for my new book. A lot went into this picture. Um, it's a portrait of a father and a son and the grandson. Um, the concept behind this, my son was shot when he was 15, seven times, but to God be the glory, he lived. The day my son got shot, I really didn't tell him that I loved him before he left the house. And um, after he pulled through this, I made a vow to God that if, if he lived, I would pour my life into young people. So whenever I leave my son or my grandson, I kiss them on the forehead. Um, and this is the concept that I gave to the artist, Mark Anthony. The hair element I got from a friend of mine who lives in New York City named Reginald Rutledge. Um, the body work I got from a friend of mine who's actually going to play the father in the movie, DeMarc Thomas. Um, the son, I got the concept from my trainer, Will Tucker. And then the grandson is actually my grandson, Javante. So I'm very proud of this portrait. And this is going to be the book cover for my new book. children uh, have fun these are some of the games that we all played when we were young I know I know that I know I know that I taught my children well When I look in your eyes uh, Lord knows sometimes I feel like I failed I raised you up In the right way That you should go The streets can have can have liquor and bars. It can have all of these things. The streets can't have my son, but not my son. The streets can have buses and cars. On every street corner, there is. My son, he's my son, not my son No, you can have my watch and my wallet Buses and cars My cars and my houses I refuse to give up You can't have Work too hard To raise my only son The streets can't have My son I remember driving to work one day And I got a call on my cell phone From MedStar And they informed me that my 15 year old son Was an innocent bystander Standing on a street corner in Washington D.C. My son had been shot, and as I rushed to the hospital and saw him lying there hooked up to all of this medical equipment, the doctors informed me that he was shot seven times. I ran down.
down the hall to the hospital chapel and grabbed a bottle of anointing oil, came back and poured it upon his head and laid hands on my son and prayed until heaven came down. My son's name is Robert and I always told him that his name would be in lights. Robert means bright fame. And you know if Dr. Martin Luther King was here, he would say, son, I see a dream in you. If Nimrod was here, he would say, I see an architect, I see a builder in you. If Alex Haley was here, he said, son, I see a writer in you. If you want to be a doctor, I see Dr. Ben Carson in you. If you want to be on radio, I see a Tom Joyner in you. If you're called to preach, I see a Bishop T.D. Jakes in you. But right now, if Muhammad Ali or Nelson Mandela was here, they said, son, we're fighting for you. I see the NFL and the NBA in you. Like your praying grandfather, I see Bishop Kibi Otu in you. If you want to become the president of the United States of America, I see Barack Obama in you. But most of all, if you become none of these things, I just want to see Jesus Christ in you. God raised my son up in 10 days, and I'm here to tell all you mothers and fathers out there, don't let the streets have your son. You might have to pray a little bit harder. You might have to do it in the midnight hour. But I'm here to say the streets can't have my son. Streets can't have. These things the streets can't have my son. Not my only son. The streets can have the streets can have. I love my son. The streets can't have my.